Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. This could be for Scorpio, week three, July. Scorpio, my Scorpios, my beautiful Scorpios. Alrighty, Schneidy, let's see what we're looking at. Ooh, Ace of Pence, King of Swords, this one to come out at the same time. Page of Pence, so somebody's thinking about how to start something. Look at all this, um, pentacles. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment for someone, but I wouldn't call it, like, um, wish fulfillment like that. It's, I mean, I said it. It's more like happy days. You know what I mean? Sunday, Monday, happy days. It's, it's that type of thing. Um, and you have the Ace of Wands. Holy cannolis. All right, so... You definitely have a new opportunity coming in, whether it's a, a new job, it's grounding a situation. It looks like it could be with the masculine. Um, I don't know if you already took an opportunity elsewhere because your energy possibly shift, shifted. Because he's staring at you, right? Um, wanting to, like, swoop in. So to me, you're already content Especially with the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Wands. So, it, and, and it's like, you're just looking. And he's the only one kind of looking at you. He, you know, you're, it's somebody's like happiness, wish, wish fulfillment, happy days. It, it's not like a wish. Could it be the start of, of something? Yes, right? But this looks to me like you're dealing with an energy that's like... Uh, I don't, you know, they're trying to like, it's like a mastermind. I don't even know how to explain it. I'm trying to get to you. Because you're already content. Your energy already shifted with whatever this is. So this is someone looking at you watching. Not creepily, but how do I do this? Just, you know, getting themselves out of a net. Like, But they're still dra dragging the net behind them. You know what I'm saying? So you're dealing with someone who's carrying a lot of weight, whatever's going on in a masculine's life. Not a bad thing, but it's, you need to submerge, right? And it's, you only got one foot in the water here. So you're not dealing with somebody who's all in. I hate to say it like that. You just, you're not, you know, there's, there's still a lot going on there. Um, so you're, you're grounding some type of a situation here regarding you yourself. Me, myself, and I, right? You have a new idea, a new prospect, a, a new flair, a new energy, it, something creative. It is going to make you happy. I can't imagine it's going to be this because if you can't find happiness within yourself, you you nobody's going to come in and create it, right? I, But I kind of take my words back a little bit because this looks like energy where you're already content and happy. So maybe it's time for somebody to come in. I feel like this person's been watching you from a distance. To me, you might be, um, some of you might be, you know, dressing up, doing a little nicer things. You know, you kind of have an admirer, you know. Um, but if you ask me, you're just, you're very happy with what's going on in your life right now anyway. Scorpio, please, Ace of Pence. Ten of Cups, yeah, see? It, it's, it's an ending card, but it's contentment. Like, you're content. See, I'm glad I took my words back. <laughs> you are, you're content. It's King of Swords, hey man, so delaying something, holding on to something dead. Um, outdated thinking too. This energy needs to do shadow energy. So to me, right off the rip, you already know who this is or it's Pisces. But to me, you would kind of already know and the Nine of Wands wanting to fight for it. They're in a lot of, uh, this is earth, air, water, and that's fire, but it's all depictions of water. She's in the water, he's in the water, the boat's sunken in the water. He's got one foot in the water. Water's behind him, some type of storm. So... To me, it's like not letting go. This is very um, conditioned energy. 
you're dealing with the masculine around this time, to me, you're content. The emperor controlling. Could be the same energy. So you make this man happy. But they, they, it's like delays. It's not dropping weight. Not really allowing change, transformation. So I don't know what they're fighting for when it comes to you. Six of Cups, Ace of Wands. Your past is coming back. You guys might not even know who I'm talking about. Somebody from your past is going to reappear. Childhood friends. Random out of the blue. I have a new idea. And you, you're like, doo -doo -doo. I don't even think you see it coming. That's not a bad thing. It's a good thing because you're, you're, you're content. You're taking care of you. Um, somebody from your past could come back and make you, make you really happy. But see, I, I, someone you know, a boss is somebody. Yeah, it's, it's like a secret admirer or you already know the scenario. Because they're watching you, you're, you're their happiness. You, you make them happy, you, they, you know, you put a smile on their face, you make them feel like a kid again. It's like, you re they're, they could be going through a past life regression right now and you're not even aware of it. Because right now you're just content. You could want something long term. If this is not a feminine energy and it's all linked to the masculine, this is somebody who's just like, you know what, I'm going after something new, my own happiness, my contentment. This person puts a smile on my face, hasn't let me down. I have a lot of fun. It's, it's a positive read. It's a really good read. But you, you are dealing with somebody who, you know, if there was a delay, I don't want to quite say the delay is over per se. Because it's, it's like they're still fighting themselves on something. They're not quite sure here. You're dealing with somebody who's been through a lot of life experiences. Um, but what have they taken from them? You know, there's a big difference there, guys. Yeah, see, they need strength right now, courage. So this is a lesson that hasn't quite been brought to their attention yet. Yeah, see the five of wands reverse at the bottom of the deck, the four of cups reverse. This is somebody who's coming back around, coming at you. Okay, I, I don't see any harm. I don't see anything like that. I just see somebody who is half in and half out. So just be aware of half in and half out, okay? Um, I just saw 808, spiritual meaning of 808. I used to know that one by heart. I used to see it a lot. Brings a message uh, significating of significating significifying repeating that there are impeding endings in your life. But let go of your fears and your worries. You gotta let this change happen so ultimately you're in a very positive situation that's gonna benefit you. So this is setting somebody up to benefit them. Like, this is like someone's kind of golden ticket. Yes, you guys must be like two peas in a pod, or you were at one time. But it also says encourages you to keep your finances in check so you can build solid foundations for you and your loved ones. It's also basically saying the 808 is aligning you with your true self on every single level. The choices you make, the actions. If you're not doing something right now, don't not do it out of fear. Have courage. Changing paths is a good thing. It's also something that's being guided. You know, they're here to assist you. So this is all about a masculine getting on a path of happiness. Like I said, it, this energy is half in and half out. You are dealing with, I can see conditioning all day here someone's time clock you know my way but I think you might be able to soften this energy 
And this person just needs the courage to come at you. Okay. Um, Max, besides that, um, it looks good. Brand new, you know, opportunity. Some of you, you already started it, but, um, the energy is going to really shift nicely this week for you guys. If it hasn't shifted yet with this, this, um, this incoming. Okay. I love you guys. We'll see you on Patreon. Bye.